YouTubers. Hey, welcome back to Rankin Projects. Got a new one today. Um, we are gonna be doing the, oh, I don't know if you can see, man, is it bright out here? Uh, camera, rear camera mount. All right, so, oh, got some good hair going. So this is, I've actually done one of these before on a camper. But, uh, so I ordered on Amazon from uh, Do Honest. This is what they look like right here. You can kind of see it. This company, they kind of do the, so the um, company that makes them on the back of cameras is Furion. And their camera, I think I saw on Amazon was about $370. Uh, there's another style about 550. I got this one here. Little camera mounts on there. Comes with the Furion adapter plate. And so that's what I'm gonna install up there. And it's just four screws. Um, when taking the plastic covering that's off of there. So the camper's pre-wired. That's what you saw when I pointed up there. Um, you take off this little plate, the adapter plate goes in there with the same four screws. This then gets mounted onto there and it also comes with a wire that plugs right in. So it's all like a plug and play operation. Um, did I mention, this was $135 with, I think I got like a $10 off coupon when I clicked on it. So yeah, 135 bucks versus 370 or 550. So. This is the way to go. Um, comes with the, uh, that's the camera. You can like hardwire it. It's got all this different stuff in here for hardwiring. Uh, if your camper isn't pre-wired already for the Furion setup, uh, you can hardwire into your marker light up top there. And uh, yeah, I mean, you can see here. Yeah kind of show you the box here comes with like this oh mounting thing here um, for the screen you can see a big old seven inch screen I haven't even taken out of the box yet still in the wrapper stuff here but let's try and do this one-handed but we'll get it we'll get it Come on, baby. Should just rip this. There. Holy cow. All right, half the video is me trying to get this full. Okay, forget it. Here's the screen. Okay, nice seven inch screen. Got the buttons on there and mounting on the back side. So the one I used to have had a single antenna. These now have two, like a dual antenna for additional range that it can uh, sync up to the camera. So that's kind of cool. I'm hoping that'll work a little bit better. I had a longer camper before um, and it actually, um, it didn't always pick up the range so that camper was, I think, a total of 33 feet from the hitch. And then I had my truck or whatever, and then I had the monitor on the dash of the truck. So yeah, you might be like 43, 46-ish feet total. Uh, the camper I got now is a 26 footer. So it's gonna be a little bit shorter and I got the dual antenna. So I'm hoping that that'll work better. So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna get it all mounted up. Like I said, it's gonna be plug and play, so pretty easy to do. And I got a lot of stuff going on because we're going camping in a little bit. I still gotta like, we just picked up this camper. You might see from my other videos, I did a electric tongue jack. Oh, the lighting's really bad. Let me see if I can fix that a little bit. Oh, camera's dirty, all that. Oh, look at that. A little bit clearer, but yeah. So we're going camping. Uh, a few hours so I got a lot of stuff to do 
So I'm not gonna record putting this in, um, but if you have any questions, just let me know. It literally is four small screws. Um, make sure though, those screws are really, really small, easily lost. So when you're taking that Furion cover off, be sure to, with this, you get your finger on the end of that screwdriver to catch that screw. I'm talking like eighth of an inch long. They're really, really small. So you don't want to lose those. Um, and yeah, I'm going to put that plate back on, the adapter plate that comes with this kit. Should be good to go. Uh, we'll see how it works in a little bit. Uh, maybe I'll make a video after I use it and we can see exactly how it does down the road. See if there's any interference or anything like that. But uh, I have high hope, hopes for this. Oh, and I did buy from this company, Do Honest, um, previously. And when I did have that interference and stuff, customer service was actually really good. Um, it wasn't always proper English, but very, very nice. They sent me extended antennas all this additional stuff for free. They had great service, but uh, yeah. So we'll see how this one does and uh, all right, happy camping. Uh, thanks for watching and you guys take care. All right, bye.